In today's class, I will explain you about thread lifecycle concept in Java programming. Then what is thread? Thread is lightweight subprocess or a smallest unit of processing. Once a thread has been created, the thread always exits in any one of the following five states. The new state, runnable state, running state, non-runnable state, which is also called as the block state, then terminated state. Then when thread will be in the new state, then when thread will be in the runnable state, when thread will be in the running state, when thread goes from running state to the block state, when thread will be in the running state. I will explain you one by one with the help of the example. Here, new state. Whenever a thread is created, the thread will all, always be in new state, which means that once instance has been created to a thread class, at that time threads has to be created. At that time, the threads are in the new state, which is also called as the born state. Then when thread switches from the new state to the runnable state, when thread invokes the start method, then threads will move from new state to the runnable state. But it is not in running state. Thread scheduler has not been selected the thread for execution. It is ready for execution. Still, it is not being executed. Okay, that is called runnable state. When thread switches from runnable state to the running state, once thread scheduler has been selected thread for execution, the thread will switch from runnable state to the running state, which means that the thread invokes the run method, then thread will be in the running state. When thread switches from running state to the block state, when thread running, when current running thread invokes the sleep method or current running thread requires any input output operations, when running thread invokes the wait method, the thread is suspended, then thread requires any lock, the thread will move from a running state to the blocked state, which is also called as the non-runnable state. Here, when thread is suspended, okay, then thread will move from block state sorry running state to the block state when thread has executed its job sorry when threads has finished its job then it exits or terminates normally which means that when thread exits run method the threads will be in the terminated state i will explain you with the help of the diagram the new state, because once instance has been created, at that time the threads has been created, the threads will be in the new state. When threads invoke the start method, the thread switches from the new state to the runnable state. When thread invokes the run method, here when threads invokes run method, the threads will switch from runnable state to the running state. When threads invoke the sleep method, when it is required input output operations, when threads wait for lock, when thread is suspended, when thread invokes the wait method, the thread will switch from running state to the blocked state. When it has finished its sleep method, an input output has to be completed, it, it acquires lock, then resume method is invoked, or else notify method invoke code or notify all method can invokes the thread will switch from black, black state to the running runnable state again. But one thing you should remember here, the thread does not come from black state to the running state. Again, which will be comes from black state to the runnable state. Again, it is ready for execution. Then when run method exits or stops the thread will be in the run terminated state okay and this is the way of the thread life cycle if you have any doubt regarding this thread life cycle, you can ask me then i will explain you with the example then see here here the once instance has been comes to the main method instance has to be created the thread is in new state when thread invokes start method over here 
then thread will be in the runnable state. Once start method has been executed by the thread, the threads are ready for execution. Once the thread scheduler has been selected it, then which will execute the run method. Once it executes the run method, the thread is running state. Then it shows current running thread. If you want to know the name of the thread, there is a method is called thread.currentthread.getName. When sleep method, when current running thread invokes sleep method, it, it will switch from running state to the blocked state. Got it? When run method exits, okay, once it sleep method, the 3000 millisecond expires, then the current running thread resumes its execution. When exits run method, the thread is in terminated state. Because the thread has been finished its job, the thread will be in the terminated state. With the help of this example, I explained all the th states when thread will be in the new state, when thread will be in the uh, runnable state, when thread will be in the running state, when thread will be in the blocked state, when thread will be in the terminated state. I will also show you the output of this program. See here the example of the threads, how the threads will run. Okay, then I will go for the execution. Now it is in blocked state, current running thread. After that, some milliseconds is waited over here. The thread resumes its execution. After that, the thread has been terminated. Current running thread is called thread zero because if you not give any name, of your created thread, the first name, th first created thread name is by default thread zero. Okay, if you create the second thread, thread one. If you create the third thread, thread two, like that, the threads names will be assigned. The thread resumes its execution. Once sleep method expires, then it resumes execution. After that, the thread will be terminated. Okay, if you have any doubt regarding this thread lifecycle concept, you may contact through comment box. Thank you. Thank you all for watching my videos.